everyone, my name is Andrew. Welcome to the channel. So I'm going to tell a story about fungus log. Now, when I started up this 40-gallon breeder aquarium behind me, I got some Mopani driftwood. And like most people, I boiled it, let it soak in water for several hours to try to get all the extra tannins out, right? So when I put it in the aquarium, a couple of days later, it became covered with this fungus growth, which was really strange. So I took it out of the aquarium, scraped it all off with like a toothbrush, put it back in, and it slowly began to come back again. So I did a lot of research on the internet to see, is this really a problem? And the consensus was, no, it's just a normal, natural thing. So I went ahead and put my uh, Nubius plants, you can see back here on them. And between the pond snails and the nerite snails and some competing algae, pretty much went away. Doesn't appear to be a problem. So if you're having a similar problem, don't worry about it. Go ahead and try to take it off if you want to, but it's not really a concern for your fish. The Anubias on the driftwood has had a bit of a hard going. I initially used cotton thread to keep it in place, like I had done with my main tank many years ago. But our uh, Ranchu goldfish, uh, Cheddar and Colby, kept plucking them up. So I finally had to resort to using nylon thread on the driftwood. I wanted everything to be nice and natural in here, but well, you have to do what you have to do sometimes. Uh, as you can see, our Ranchu fry are still pretty small. They're growing a lot slower than our previous batch of goldfish, or Aranda or Yukon hybrids did. I think part of the problem is we were getting a much slower uh, growth rate for our brine shrimp, which I didn't know if it was the hatchery we were using was the problem, but it turns out, no, the eggs we were using just weren't very good. Once we switched to a new uh, type of eggs, we now have a lot of brine shrimp and pretty confident that our remaining, I think I have about 11 in here, are going to be able to uh, grow up and we're kind of excited to see uh, how they're going to turn out. So that's the story of fungus log. Um, not the greatest story perhaps, but you know, you got to start from somewhere. So I'm Andrew. Uh, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.